And good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to News Talk 95.3, Michiana's news channel. I'm your host, Casey Hendrickson, and this program is triggered by Rocket Guns. Visit them online at rocketguns.com. Joining us in studios, our old friend uh, John Hanlon. John, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Casey. Thanks for having me back on. Oh, not a problem. Now, John is a tech blogger, and he has with him... I don't know if you guys have seen the commercial here. Now, my wife saw the commercial a couple of weeks ago. She looked at me, and she goes, that's creepy. Now, it's a brand new Samsung device, and as you know, we talk about uh, technology, Samsung versus Apple all the time on this program, and this is the new Galaxy S4, which apparently will shut off, according to the commercial, will shut off when you look away from it. So my wife saw that, and she goes, oh, that's creepy. It's a week later, she now wants the phone. But (laughs) now we need to figure out, is it worth it? Now, I can already tell you, I have the iPhone 5. You guys already know, I hate this phone. I mean, it's a good basic phone, don't get me wrong, but it's buggy, it's tiny it's 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 dainty is what it is now you put the iphone 5 with my case which has a bunch of knives built into it by the way it is still smaller than the galaxy s4 by a wide margin uh, so it's very emasculating but uh what tell, I mean, tell us about this phone because this is going to be available on all the carriers right right it's available on samsung or not samsung samsung makes it but it's available on verizon t-mobile at&t sprint all the major carriers and it's the next version of the Galaxy S3. So a lot of people may be familiar with that. That was the big Android phone right. of the year uh, in 2012 last year. So this is the S4. And it looks very similar to the S3 if you've ever seen an S3, which again was available on all the different carriers. So a lot of people are familiar with that. Uh, but the S4, it has a lot of kind of gimmicky features that Samsung has really played up. Like one of you me- that you mentioned, Casey, about looking away and the screen mm-hmm. turns off. Uh, I haven't found those features to be that useful uh, myself. I actually, when I, I'm testing it out, Verizon was kind enough to send me one, and I'm testing it out. And I've got most of those features turned off just because they're they're pretty impractical. Uh, they're nice for PR, for Samsung to drum up uh, attention for, but they really, there isn't a lot of daily... Uh, uh, there, it's a it, conversation starter, yeah. but it's not a functional. Data. It, it's, I could see that being really annoying, because if you're looking at your phone, somebody asks you a question, you look up, and your phone's off, and you're like, damn yeah. Yeah, I can see that being a hassle. I think it's more of a hassle than it's worth. But the Galaxy S4, it's done really well for Samsung so far. Uh, They've sold 20 million in the two months it's been out, which makes it the fastest selling Android phone ever. And that is 228 per minute uh, for anybody trying to do the math there. One of the best things about it is it has a full HD, full 1080 HD 5 inch screen. So when you compare it to the iPhone, which is still... The screen is bigger than my entire phone. Uh, the screen is really, really nice. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really nice screen. Five inches, I, I think, is a really good size. A lot of people, if you're used to the iPhone, it's definitely a lot bigger than the iPhone, but I, I think it's a good size. Uh, the screen quality is actually a little bit better than the iPhone and Apple's Retina display that they talk so much about. Uh, there's something called pixels per inch mm-hmm. that, uh, you, that is a way to compare the resolutions of the screen. And the S4 has a PPI of 441, and the iPhone 5 has a PPI of 326. So the S4 is actually a better quality screen. Uh, Not only is it larger, but it's actually better quality than the iPhone 5. A whole bunch of different things there. The battery is just amazing. Uh, There was a group in the UK that tested all the top phones on the market currently, and the uh, Galaxy S4, they said, is the best battery life of any of the top smartphones on the market, including, again, the iPhone 5. Same with the camera. CNET did a test of all the top smartphones on the market, and uh, the Galaxy S4 with a 13-megapixel camera actually outperformed all of them in nearly every category. I think in low light was the only category that uh, I think the iPhone 5 or another phone did a little bit better in. But as long, if with full light and all the other categories they tested it in, uh, they said it was the best um, camera. And the camera also has some really cool features uh, built into it that you can play around with, like panorama and stuff like that. But one of them that's kind of cool is it will take a photo with the back-facing camera at the same time as it's, as it's taking a photo with the oh, uh, cool. front-facing camera, and then it kind of puts a, a little box with both of them in it. So you can take a photo of like you, you and uh, you know your wife or whatever with a sunset in the background or whatever. You know, it, it just takes a photo at the same time. It's kind of a, a cool thing. Or camera wars, where you can actually get a picture of you shooting the other person. Right, yeah. right, yeah. All, all kinds of different creative uh, uses you could come up with there. It has uh, several other camera features that are pretty cool also. One thing I didn't like, one of the very few things I didn't like about the S4 was Samsung's keyboard. For some reason, it's not very good. In fact, it doesn't even have autocorrect. 
and spell checker and stuff like that. So luckily that's an easy fix though with Android. With the iPhone, you're stuck with the keyboard that Apple gives you. Which is awful. <laughs> but with Android, you can download any one of hundreds or probably you can put swipe on thousands. That, right? Swipe. It comes yeah. Swipe's it com- the best keyboard on the market still. It, it comes preloaded actually with swipe, uh, but the keyboard the main keyboard is the Samsung one. Yeah. And that one's not very good. But like I said, you can do swipe or you can do any one of hundreds of other keyboards. And so that's an easy fix. Okay. That's one nice so, thing. Minor inconvenience, but really nothing besides going into the settings and changing it over. Right, absolutely. Just downloading something new. And luckily, again, with, with Android, you can customize those things where you can't with the iPhone. You've right. got all these uh, keyboard choices, and that's just one example of where Android is a lot more customizable than the iPhone. And then, you know, it's, it's pretty much been the, the case between the two of them. But the, the camera, so the camera you're saying is, has been rated as better than the iPhone 5. Right. Because when people ask me, like, is there anything you like about the phone? I go, the camera. The camera's great. Uh, the panorama, the way that they have it implemented. Now, you can have panorama on most Google phones going right. back several versions of, of Android, but it, it wasn't as seamless as it was built into the iPhone 5. Great camera. My wife actually liked the phone specifically because of the camera because she's a photographer, uh, and she's got an S2, uh, and she loves the phone, but the camera isn't great. Uh, yeah. So the iPhone 5 camera, much better than that. Uh, but now, mine's buggy. I, I, was, I was telling John here, folks, before the show, I bought this in October. My power button doesn't work anymore. It has never synced with iTunes. There's a the keyboard is awful. There's a bunch of other little things that are just kind of bad with it. Uh, over overall, I mean, it's a fine phone. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's not as well put together as they make it seem to be. And it certainly isn't worth standing out light in line for three to four days <laughs> uh, to pick the thing up. Uh, and and it's like Samsung made fun of those people with the, with the S3. They go. Right, they Walk made, outside the line. Hey, our phone's much more advanced <laughs> than yours anyway. They made some pretty creative ads. <laughs> they did. So I can only imagine what they have in store uh, as we get into the holiday time around this. So have we heard of what Apple is? I mean, Apple's been kind of software-wise, they've been playing catch-up. Hardware-wise, they've been okay. Yeah. But software-wise, they've been playing catch-up for a number of years. So what's what are they going to be doing? Because now they're trying to be more like Android anyway with the new iOS update. Yeah. And in the past, it's always been that Android, a couple of the things that Android is now stepping ahead of the iPhone with, and, uh, and that is camera and battery life. It, it, it always was in the past few years that battery life and the camera were never as good as the iPhone. Right. Well, now we're seeing with the S4 and a couple other phones, the HTC One is another one, uh, that these are now the... Android is a, is a lot different than the iPhone. And one quick thing, uh, Google puts out Android, but manufacturers like Samsung and HTC build off of Android. Right. And so... They kind of do their own thing. Right. Which is a big complaint in the Android community because you don't have a standard version to do everything. You don't have a standard, but then you've got features like the camera and the battery that because manufacturers are able to build off Android and take it to the next level uh, in their own way, that the that those features are now better than the iPhone. But as far as the next iPhone, I've heard a lot of rumors, and there are always a lot of rumors. Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard anything concrete as of yet um, on what what's going to come out in the next iPhone, but they are slowly taking some features like the the... Uh, notifications and the way that it, uh, Android handles different applications at once. They've been slowly taking those from different platforms, but kind of everybody does that. Everybody talks about everybody copying the other person, yeah. but, it, uh, you know, it's kind of that. That's the game they play. Apple wins some court cases. Samsung wins some court right. cases. It's, it's a giant thing. Now, if you're looking at this, okay, because we, we did a thing right before I went on vacation, John, where it turns out that the iPhone happens to be in affluent neighborhoods. Rich people buy the iPhone. More average everyday people, even lower income people, they buy Android devices. But let's just say you're in the market now, you're due for your upgrade, you've been waiting that two years so you don't have to get hit with a $600 bill. Yep. You've got the iPhone 5, which is still less than a year old, and it is still obviously considered one of the top phones on the market. You've got the S4 sitting out there, maybe a couple of other ones. Where do you go if, let's just say, you don't care about any of the gadgets, you just want a phone that does it, but you're kind of a power user, but you're not a nerd. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. So sure. you're you're going to be married to your phone, but you're not going to be tweaking it and messing with it. Where do you go now, especially with the new iOS update that's coming out? Android has always been more customizable, whereas iOS and the iPhone and the iPad and iPod Touch has always been more simplistic and based around simplicity. Here's what we're going to give you. One size fits all is what Apple has always done. Whereas, again, Android has always been where you can go and customize things. You can change keyboards. Uh, of course, you should try them both out. Um, that's what I always tell people when they ask which which one is better. Try them out. I I, I, I don't think I would say one is absolutely better. Uh, 
I, I think people who are the more more techie types who want to, especially if you're wanting to change anything on the phone, you want to customize it, obviously go with Android. Uh, if you're not a techie person, uh, try them both out. I know I know a lot of non-techie people who, who, who like Android, though, but I, I've always said the I, iOS and the iPhone is more simple because there just isn't that much you can change, and it's all pretty straightforward, whereas if you want to do more, you want to customize, go with Android. Now, how much is that going to change with the new iOS when it comes out? Because, again, the, the new operating system for Apple, if you guys haven't heard, they're actually making it kind of look more like Android. It is a big source of contention within the, the Apple fanboy community. They're not happy about it. But what are some of the changes that are going to be made with that iOS? Is that maybe going to make Apple appeal more to people who want a little bit more flexibility? I think it will because, again, they've kind of taken some of the best features like notifications and the ability to run. Uh, well, they've, they've been doing this a little bit over the last couple of years, pulling some of those like the ability to run multiple apps at the same time and not just one single one uh, that we see that you can now do with the, the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. And the notifications that they've been taking from Android with a pull-down menu where you can see notifications now. So I think they're making the iPhone better. They're trying to take the best of what people really like in Android and bring it over to iOS. And, and who can blame them making a better product? Uh, I have not played around myself with the new update to iOS, so I can't get into... I haven't either, yeah. I, I haven't... I, I can't talk about a lot of the specifics for it, but from what I've seen, it, they're trying to take the best of both worlds. And they're also redesigning, making things better uh, just within iOS itself. So hopefully we'll see... Uh, big improvement there for iOS users, but I, I have not played around with it myself. Now, looking at the the S4, which is on the table right here, and by the way, if you go to jhanlon.net, and we'll link to it, he's got a, a full review of it up there, so you can actually watch, you can take a look at some of the features of this phone. Uh, and I've got the white iPhone, you've got the white uh, S4 over there. Uh, mine's more boxy, yours is more streamlined. It's obviously much bigger, but there's a lot of people don't like the bigger screen, but there's people out there hearing a five, is it five inches? Five inches. Okay, they're hearing a five inch screen. Like, okay, this thing's going to be a huge giant brick. It's not. It's I mean, it's really small. Very, very thin. And the screen goes almost to the very edge of the phone, so you don't have a big border. Uh, so the it, almost the entire front of the phone is the screen. So it goes right to the edge, and it's very, very thin. I think it's, I don't know the exact dimensions, but it's very comparable as far as the the thickness of it to the the iPhone five. So it's not. It looks like it has, as far as the dimensions, it looks like it has a little bit more. It's a much bigger screen. Don't get us wrong, but we're talking about you know overall phone size here yeah. too, and how yeah. much the screen is taken up of the overall phone size. They're they're similar. It looks like it goes out to the sides a little bit more. Um, but how's the playback like if you do Netflix or something like that? Because that's a that's a big one. My wife watches Netflix on her phone all the time. And the the resolution, you mentioned the screen is being great, but how's the playback, how's the processing speed over the internet? Yeah, well, the same uh, group in the UK, which I forget the name of the group, they did a uh, the battery test. They also did a speed test and actually, again, found the Galaxy S4 to be the fastest phone on the market. So best camera, best battery, fastest phone on the market. I haven't had any playback issues at all. Uh, it plays, again, with the screen, you're going to get the best possible image or playing video, whatever you're doing of any mobile device. So I, it's been seamless for me. So right now, Samsung S4, best phone on the market, I th- at least hardware-wise. I really think it is, all the way around. I think it's the best phone on the market if you're looking at something right now. Now, again, with Android, next week something could come out sure. that's, that's even better. But right now, I think the S4 is the best phone on the so market. So what's this going to set people back when they go in there? Oh, the, pr- the price uh, depends on which carrier you're going off of. Usually it's around two, it's two to $300. Uh, if you have an upgrade, of course, if you don't have an upgrade, it's like $650. Yeah. Uh, but if you are due for an upgrade, which I believe is every two years on almost all the most. carriers, most mm-hmm. carriers, uh, then it'll it's two to $300, which I think is, uh, I don't know what the price that, of the iPhone 5 that's, is. That's not shabby. I think mine was a couple hundred bucks, too, yeah. something it's, like they're, that. They're all pretty similar. When you when you have the upgrade price, they yeah. give you a, a pretty good discount, or what they call a discount. <laughs> it's a very it's a very cool phone. I'm looking at it right now. It's, it's great. You know, the wife went from being creeped out by it to actually wanting it now that... Now that it has a good camera, she's probably going to prefer that over the the iPhone because she likes the larger screen resolution uh, as well. So, uh, John, I appreciate it again. jhanlon.net. We'll link to it. He's got the full Samsung Galaxy S4 review up there on his page right now. And uh, so you can go through and actually watch all of these cool little uh, trinkets on the thing and actually take a look at what the the operating system looks like uh, if you're new to Android or if you're not new to Android, you just want to see how Samsung's done this. It's all up there for you. Right. But, John, appreciate the time, man. Thanks a sure. lot. Thanks, Casey. All right. Do appreciate it. we got more coming up on News Talk 95.3, Michigan's News Channel.